All right, you're watching a shaky production video. This is the Marsh Rat Boat, Mallard Marine Corporation, out of Oregon. Little 56 pound, one man, uh, intentionally designed for duck hunting, but I found it really adapts well to trapping. We're in a swamp here that we are in some time ago, and um, I don't know, about four or five years ago. Got a bunch of bunch of beavers out of here. Um, I think last fall they moved back in. Now they've got a quite a bit of damage going here. So we're going to take you for a ride in this little boat here. Whoa! So I was able to jump right in there. Let's see if we can get this camera to sit here. And we can go for a ride. Whoa! Good thing I got the protection plan from Sears. Okay. Front of the boat. And here we go. We're kind of cruising along the dam here. Bunch of trees and stuff to get under. To get out. It's not very deep and it has a fairly good bottom here. You could walk it. But the nice thing is we can get a bunch of gear in and stuff if we have to. Uh oh. Camera's gonna go down. Uh oh. I'm going down. Ooh, bird. Pulled myself underneath that one. Right up to another one here. I'm just gonna walk over this one because when I sat down my butt got about as wet as they come. But me I flipped quite a few canoes. So I'm not real happy with them. Okay. So that's kind of why we call it shaky productions. Without a camera, man, you get what you get. You can't just keep spinning over logs and stuff here just to get one ahead up this little channel right here. In. We got a set up there that we put in yesterday. And I think we lured it with a call lure. Let's see what we can do here without anything down. I'm just using my hands now to grab onto these semi dead branches. Weave my way through here. Okay. Okay, up here you can see I flagged it. I'm in an area where I don't have to worry about anybody seeing. Plus I'm kind of a bonehead and like to lose traps. But we got a set in this channel here where they were going through here. But it doesn't look like anything's happened. I'm just gonna weave this marsh right in here. I just usually use the paddle when the camera's not in the way, and then the boat will stay. Okay, okay I'm guessing there's nothing in that uh, conibear there, but uh, if I look right here, I can actually see where um, the beaver went up and around the tree and swam basically around the conibear here. We had uh, some call lure up on this tree right here. So, I'm guessing he's not in here. It looks pretty straight. I don't use the peanut, which is probably a good thing if you don't want to reach in and pull. Oh, good set conibear. Let me bury that in a little bit better so they don't 
went over it again or whatever happened. All I have to do is put a foothold there, I think. But we'll do that at a later time. Check these other traps, see what we've got. I think that what's going on here is we got a feed pile right here. Some blackberries right there. And there's another small feed pile down the road here. And what I'm guessing, because this is off of the main swamp, say to, so to say, where the houses are, or the huts, or the lodges. My guess is that the kits are coming down here to play this time of year. Okay, we're off again. We're just kind of gliding along here. I'm using the sticks to pull. Being it is a flat bottom. With no real keel to speak. Don't recommend them for big water. Or rivers. But I've had it in both. We took it out in the ocean and bought uh, about three foot swells and threw a 60 pound crab pot on the front here. We go right through this channel. We didn't set this channel because it's kind of blocked up with trees. There's three ways through. So we're able to go down a little bit further here. Some place. And yeah, and here's basically the one way out here. So instead of wasting two traps back there, we went ahead and set this channel. Sticks all the way in here. Ah. That's a pain in the ass. Got into this channel, we got it set here. And it looks like uh, looks like some of the sticks moved away from where it was here. Oh, I can see a spring. That's always a good thing. This channel's probably, geez, I guess knee deep. A little bit wide, so we stuck a 660 up, little kit. Kind of what I thought. Probably gonna be another one of them in here. So well, anyway, and then this weaves around to another dam and uh, uh, basically three dams in there. One holding up the water here. One holding up the lot water for a traveling route to the main uh, swamp and that's where we'll start working next. But anyway, that's a little overview of this marsh rat. I guess I could show you one more thing here. I like. This one may not be made right. Uh, for stabilizer because I didn't figure this out till later. Oh. Yeah. Got to wire the champ. Then, but they got these two holes on the side, and if you do your stabilizers right here, if I can do this, no, this one's not done right. But anyway, if you do your stabilizers right, you can make them fit right in there. It's really nice for setting. 